Good morning once again. Uh, it's press do. In case you are new to the channel, just subscribe to Flexible College and click on the notification bell so that you can get access to other content that will be uploaded here. Today I'm here to take you through ICT and today I will be tackling software software now the computer as you see being it a desktop or a laptop just like the one i'm holding whether it being a laptop or desktop comprises of two major components and that is hardware and software when we talk about the hardware we are referring to the Physical peripherals, that's the hard aspect, the hard component of the computer that you can see and you can touch. Then, aside the hardware, the hardware alone cannot work. You need something, a system that will allow it to function. So what allows the computer to function is the software. So in short, software is programs. Then for the software, which we say is programs, we have programs that are written and inbuilt within it. That one is called program software. Then aside that, we also have applications. Applications, those that you can download, you can send, you can go to the Play Store, uh, Google Play Store, and other any store that you can buy. Or you can download it there we call it application software I hope you can give me examples of application software that you know for example those that you can download you can receive from transfer from di different devices those are the application software so we have the program software as well as application software so the software allows the computer to operate and to function but the hardware is the physical peripherals or the physical component of the, of the computer that you can touch you can feel it but the software is the running programs that is within the computer now on the software too when you look at it we have different software that can also allow you to come out with a different thing or that enables you to create that is what we term as the productivity software so when you are looking at the productivity software example like the microsoft office the microsoft word it is enabling you to come out with your document if you want to print a document or to design any document or any other thing so microsoft word is one of the productivity software that is in the system that you can have today i only came to introduce to you the hardware as well as the software the difference between hardware and software thank you stay tuned for more our next meeting we will move into details in this bye bye